Cancer, this is your weekly tarot reading. So if you're new to this channel, welcome and don't forget to subscribe. So and if the hit the like button if you like this video. Uh, this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. So not only Cancer, Sun sign, but also your Moon sign, Rising sign. This is for Cancer. Uh, for Cancer, get the Two of Pentacles in reverse, clarified by Six of Swords and the King of Pentacles. Okay, Two of Pentacles in reverse. There's something that blo is blocking you maybe from growth. There's something that you want to uh, achieve or there's something you want to attract or there's something you want to make sure this is going to be all right, that it works all together. For example, if you have a planning, then you want to make sure that when you're going from plan A to plan B uh, or, or from point one A to B, that this will be exactly on the right time, that it that nothing is coming in between and that things are just going fluently all right. So I think for cancers, you really want every, everyone to, co to collaborate or to work together. Maybe it feels really like this person doesn't want to collaborate. They are doing something that is really the opposite or maybe you feel like they have the potential to do so because it's definitely someone um, yeah that is able to collaborate this is someone very reliable someone loyal you're dealing with normally um, but maybe in this case uh, in this situation you don't see that you don't see them uh, collaborating with you so this is something to work on the two of pentacles it's about it could be like become a real synergy synergy so i think that if you're dealing with someone that doesn't want to collaborate with you or you feel that this person is almost going against things that you are doing this person knows what you want and i think they are going even to support you in this by not doing certain things that actually you feel that needs to be done so this is, I think, way more positive cancer than what you think is going on. And I think also that you are in that stage at the moment during this week, because for you the Six of Swords shows up. So before you had a little like a difficulty with this and like, oh my God, what do I have to do with this person? Or what do I have to do in this situation? But you have been letting go of this because you have been seeing this um, in a different way. You are... Um, you are probably knowing that there's something in this that that's also for your your benefit the six of swords is clarified by ten of swords in reverse and the knight of wands in reverse so yeah you're moving on you're not going to sit and wait you're more like okay this person is whether they are in it or they're not but I'm moving on, so I don't care what they're doing. This is just has to be a good collaboration. They know my planning or you know their planning. It has to collaborate, it has to go well. They both, you both know, and so both you have your own responsibilities. And if they're not doing it, well, then this is just not going to be co good collaboration. So not for you and not for them. So you know that you can trust the situation because if they will mess up, they will mess up for you, but they will mess up for themselves as well. So yeah, that's what I get for cancer. And I think also that's why you like to give someone or the situation a second chance. Even though maybe you feel a little bit like a drain, maybe there's a lack of energy, or maybe you feel very highly excited to do something. But in any case, you are moving on. You're not resting in something you do not like but you're moving on you're like okay this is not it for me then i'm moving on then i continue with my life or i continue with this job or i continue with something that's on your list or something that you need to do or something that you want to do and if you want to know like if this person is reliable if someone is reliable if someone's loyal uh, if someone will help you then yes, the King of Pentacles shows up for them and it's clarified by the Four of Cups and the uh, King of Cups. So it could even be that if this person is not even 
with you when a certain idea or is even not interested in something that you're doing, they're still very helpful. They're still there for you. They understand exactly why this is so important for you. So they're very practical about it. They do not want to lose you. They do not want to lose this connection. They want to make sure that everything is going all right. So, you know, this person is there for you because they do not want to mess up. Uh, I see for both of you, they, you both do not want to mess up. Um, the thing is that maybe in the past you thought differently about the situation. So maybe you thought that someone's about to mess up. But that in fact they are actually not. I see that this person, very reliable, very loyal, exactly knowing what to do, uh, how to support. This is almost like a, a social worker or something like that. Uh, with the king of pentacles and the king of cups. Mm, I think also they are not letting their emotions involve too much in the situation. So, for example, if you're an entrepreneur or you're uh, doing something for yourself or, you're, or you, you have a job, uh, you're dealing with someone that's really focused on the work. They're really focused on, okay, this is needed. This is what I'm going to offer because this is needed. Very practical, uh, very rational. Um, and this person is also not showing any emotion because they know what needs to be done. They know what needs to be done. So this person, if you're wondering, like, is this person going to be with you or not? Yes, but I think for cancer, how to improve your week, it's to not to think so much about this. Because I think you're, you're thinking a lot about this. And maybe you're also communicating a lot about this. But sometimes things are just the way it is. And I think this person also knows... Maybe you have told them once, maybe you have told them twice, and they're really like, yeah, Cancer, I know what you're saying, and I'm doing this already. So when you're going to repeat yourself over and over again, it gets annoying, you know? So that also makes that the collaboration is not going well. So if you want to make this collaboration like very smooth and wants to make sure that everything's going all right between you and this person, don't talk about it too much is what I get for Cancer. So don't talk about something too much. Um, they know about it. They, you already have told them. They heard it. They know. So don't talk about it too too often. And now I'm repeating myself. So I stopped doing that. Because I really feel like the message should be coming across right now. Um, so yeah, that's mainly what I get for cancer. Uh, be practical about it. When you said it, they heard it. That's their, you know, that it's done. And then move on. And that's also what you're going to do here during this week. Moving on, not thinking about that anymore. I mean, there's a lot of other things that you need to be doing right now, probably. Let's see what's going on for cancer this week. What is it that you also have to focus more on? Ten of Cups in reverse, clarified by Eight of Cups and the Nine of Wands. Okay, so yeah, it's, your, it's something that makes you happy. Something makes you really happy. Uh, you have been letting go of a lot of stuff do and during this week you're also going to let go of a lot of stuff so if if you haven't been doing that just yet that's what this week is coming for you letting go of certain things that maybe you were were really stuck in your mind about really like oh my um focusing too much on the pain focusing too much on the on the negatives but instead of focusing on the negatives, which is, you know, we, we don't live that long. So it's, that's, that's also something very wise what you're about to do. You are not going to focus anymore on these things that you cannot change anyway. You're going to move on and you're going for your happiness. And I think also this is something that you're practicing during this week. And for some of you, this will be very good to do. So, for example, if you haven't been... Ex ex um, ex uh, practicing your hobbies uh, lately maybe it's time for practicing your hobbies maybe it's time for getting out there meeting friends or maybe you don't even want friends around then maybe it's really time to focus on these things that you really love doing and not these things that are negative because i think something is already fixed you cannot do anything about this anymore you already did everything you could and so the rest is up to whatever the universe you know so you cannot do anything more. You already have done everything you could. 
and so that's why you're you're like okay done check uh, you it's done on your checklist and then it's time for something new the thing that the, the probably the reason why you find it very important this week or very difficult this week to focus on that happiness um, what's keeping you maybe from doing those things is probably here the nine of wands in reverse that makes you a little bit paranoid uh, you know that feeling when um, you like to read a book or you like to do something relax something that re that's relaxing something that makes you happy but then you think like oh but when i do this then uh, in the meanwhile maybe uh, i could have done that or you know things that need to be done or some obligations uh, maybe they they have more like you think that that needs to happen first and that your happiness is going sec coming second or third but I s because of this lack of energy i see that you really need to be focusing more on these things that make you really happy because otherwise you feel really drained and then you're also running around in circles in your mind so it's it's time to focus on something new and you already have been you know you have your checklist or you have something that you have been doing and you did this all correctly all fine uh, then it's time for your next plan and to um, really enjoy your time um, because that's also really needed because there's a little bit like a lack of energy at the moment uh, for cancer sun moon rising and venus sign so yes that's what i get for cancer i really hope this is helpful for you don't forget to subscribe hit the like button also check your sun moon rising and venus signs and see you next time mm -hmm.